Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and I just recorded a video to kind of walk you through how to calculate shipping rates for your e-commerce store just using the United States Post Office website. And I created this map, which is just kind of a quick estimate of shipping a one pound coffee bag to different places in the US using this uh, green X as a kind of a base address in Virginia, and then shipping to um, five different locate actually four different locations just to get a basic idea of costs so i figured out that it's 765 to 895 um, to ship from the to the farthest place or the closest place and these are just estimates to get a rough idea of where to start so i'm now going to show you how to put these rates into woocommerce um, every e-commerce um, platform is different and they're going to give you different shipping options but they're all fairly similar in their flat rate shipping options WooCommerce is really popular and I'm using it for this coffee seller right now to help him set up his shipping so I thought this would be helpful to you just to kind of understand my thought process and what WooCommerce offers you in terms of flat rate shipping so I'm logged into this website here and to get to the shipping rates or the shipping options in WooCommerce, you would go to WooCommerce and then settings and then click on the shipping tab. I've already done some setup in here. So the first thing you'll set up is shipping zones. So for this, I'm using East US, Middle and Western US. So you can add states to this, but in my case, the West would be, you know, over in this area. I might separate it something like this. So I'd have the east states over here, middle, and then west. So I'm going to have three different shipping zones. You don't have to do this, or you could split it up even further. I haven't added all the states yet, but uh, let me just show you the options within each zone. So if I click on east US, first I add my states. I can even do it by zip code. And then I add my shipping method. So I'm going to offer free shipping over a certain dollar amount purchase. And then for ground shipping, I'm calling it ground shipping, but you could call this priority US or UPS, whatever you want to call it, depending on what you're using. And then here's where you add your cost. So you could just add $4, for example. But the uh, more advanced options that WooCommerce gives you are uh, quantity and then percentage fee. So here are the examples of that. So you could do like $10 plus two times the quantity that was ordered. So here they explain it. it's a base shipping cost of $10 plus $2 for each item in the cart. Or you could use the fee percent, which is what I'm going to use, which is a base shipping cost of $20 in this case, plus 10% of the order, which is at least $4. So that's here. 20 is the base and then the fee percent is 10%, but the fee is always a minimum of $4. So here's what I came up with for my fee. It's a $4 base and then the fee percent is 16 and then the minimum fee is 365 and I'm doing that based on the cost that I found in the shipping calculator and then here are my three different fees for my three different zones so I have east middle and west with west being the most expensive so it the base is higher at 465 and then the percent is higher at 20 the minimum fee actually goes down because I was basically doing some simple math to keep it at uh, the minimum or keep it at the price of a flat rate box, which I could ship anywhere in the US. So basically what I did is I pasted these rates into each of my ground shipping rates for my different zones. So for East, I did the East and then for middle, I pasted it into my ground shipping rate. So now what I'm going to do is create some sample carts and see how they calculate the rate and if it's kind of close to what I estimated in the, UP, the USPS uh, shipping calculator. So there's a quick way to do this in the cart in WooCommerce, but in order for it to work, you're gonna have to go to shipping and then shipping options and make sure that enable the shipping calculator on the cart page is checked. This will turn on this option here for calculating your shipping rather than going to the next page. So my first zip code that I'm testing is California, actually Los Angeles zip code. And with a quantity of one, if I update the cart, it will calculate it. It's $8.04 shipping. 
So that's pretty close. So because for one, I had $8.95, but I also have the option of shipping at flat rate for $7.90. So $8.04 is okay. But again, I could, I could change that by going back to my west shipping zone where California is and editing that and changing these numbers. It's like if I added this to, if I added 30 cents to this and click save, let's go back to the cart and refresh it. Then my ground shipping goes up by 30 cents. Now if I add another bag of coffee to the cart and click update, it's not gonna double, but it's gonna add a percentage of my total price. So 20% of the total price or a minimum of $3.25. So after adding that, it comes to $11.73. And I had calculated that two bags would cost $12.98 to ship to this address. So I'm a little low, so I might want to adjust that a little bit. I probably would adjust this fee percentage or the minimum, whichever makes sense to get that to the correct amount. Then I could go back and I could try, you know, three bags and updating that just to see if that's gonna work. You have to make some changes to your rate in order to get it to work with different quantities. So my next step would probably be to enter another zip code, like maybe one in the east zone, and then test that out and see if the prices make sense, and then adjust the shipping zone rate, or I should say the ground shipping rate for the east zone would be adjusted here to make those uh, numbers uh, match my estimated cost of actual shipping. So everybody's business and shipping rates are gonna be a little bit different. Maybe you have different size products, that's gonna affect it. Um, but hopefully this just helps you understand how you can use shipping rates in WooCommerce with their flat rate shipping, which is built in to the free WooCommerce plugin. Um, and seeing my thought process is just gonna help you understand how to go through your own process for your e-commerce store. So I'll link to another video here that's gonna help you out with um, shipping rates in Shopify, which is a similar process, and we'll see you there.